For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. The figures that the Ministry of Power has given, not the Gold Ministry, mm -hmm. uh, is that you have only four days of stock in the power plants and you could therefore be running from hand to, hand to mouth and India cannot buy coal at the moment because the coal prices are very high. The coal ministry or the coal, uh, coal India do, do not seem to be agreeing so much. They have blamed the power, power plants and right. the power ministry saying that they had said there should be 22 days of uh, coal stock. They should stock up before the monsoons. That has not happened and therefore there is this artificial shortage because the stocks have not been uh, created. So combination of one hand of the government not knowing what the other one was doing and the typical of this government that instead of looking after the problems in a holistic way, trying to solve problems and believing that somehow the God of the market will take care of all their coordination for them, that is not happening. The power plants don't want to keep extra stock because it is also, reserve stock means also money. You are blocking up money. You Cost buy of coal. storage. Buy coal, you pay. Okay. okay. And therefore, whatever you keep as uh, inventory of coal is money that could be in your bank. Okay. So therefore, this is something which capitalism in general, and let's face it, are in increasingly we moved away to private power production and also we have asked all the public sector undertakings including the government ones to behave like private companies. So one of the things that all companies do is to reduce inventory. This is called just-in-time production, okay. the Japanese model. So once you do it for the power plants, now you have a problem. The just-in-time production may mean that okay you don't produce for some time and you don't supply the market somebody else supplies who has uh, the necessary uh, supplies the inventory but when it comes to energy now that's not an option because you shut down you're shutting down other industries it is it's a cascading effect of a shortage of power is of course on the festivals as you said dark diwali or a dark dashera but also on the industry also on offices also in uh, markets this government making everybody behave as if there is a market economy which will regulate power is I think the bigger problem because power plants infrastructure does not operate in the same way as do other industries do. Markets don't operate when it comes to infrastructure. There is There are other issues over here which I'm not going into today but basically the lack of uh, coal now in the power plants brings out that just-in-time production models don't work in the electricity sector for obvious reasons. Secondly, that if you do not plan for storage, then how do you meet sudden shortfalls that you can get in supplies and sudden spikes that you get in consumption, which of course right. is the festival season. But we are going to also see the economy constrained by lack of power, electricity, if we don't solve the coal problem. Your only solution still is getting the Coal India and other coal, pl coal plants to uh, produce more coal. But the shortfall, which is all the plants which are importing coal, for instance, Mundra, which is shut down. Tata's also have an ultra mega power project, which they were importing coals from Indonesia. There were coastal plants or other plants which were using imported coal. That is the one which is going to take the main hit because we cannot get imported coal uh, at prices which we can then sell to the Indian consumer. A. B. We cannot substitute that imported coal readily with Indian coal because the power plants, the boilers, take a particular kind of coal and have been designed for that. There is a range. But the Indian coal and the Indonesian coal have very different characteristics. You cannot burn Indian coal readily in a Bundra power plant, for instance, without changing major 
uh, uh, making major changes in the boiler burning systems and so on. But you know central problem that we see in the Indian power sector that this is classic example of that, not the, that you don't recognize power is essentially infrastructure. Electricity generation is infrastructure and it has to be planned for the long term. It is not the market which can drive an electricity sector. As somebody has said, electric electricity obeys the laws of physics. It does not obey the laws of the market. And that is something the Indian planners have not recognized. They believe market will solve all their problems. Another example how markets do not solve certain problems. And certainly the infrastructure problems and the electricity sector are not amenable to spot prices going up and down and therefore fixing how much generation will come up or will not. I think this is the classic example of that. Thank you.